Yo, what's good? We live in effect, baby. We live. We live and lit. What's good? It's your boy Bennett Knowles, and I got a special guest, pro athlete, gone artist, uh, face right. creative capital, my hometown, our hometown, PVD Providence, Rhode Island, the Providence product, applying pressure every single day forever. My boy D Gomes, what's poppin'? What's going bro? on, man? What's going on? Yo, give me a second. I'm about to get in this, uh, in this pod. We out here in Miami right now. Hold on, two seconds, bro. Nah, you good? I hear you're making moves. I hear you got a music video. Yeah, yes, sir. Actually, not for me. Actually, for my artist, Lynx. So, Jay. Oh, my bad, bro. I'm all over the place right now. I left the keys inside this BK. Nah, it's good. Out. Go get your keys. <laughs> we're out here in Miami right now, man. Uh, what? We're actually uh outside of Mosey's, right? Um, Mosey's uh, Airbnb. We're about to shoot okay. a video with Jay Lynx and Mosey. Okay, dope, dope. You know, we're going to talk about all of that real quick. I know you're on like a quick schedule right now, getting ready to go to this video with Lil Mosey and Jay Link. So let's get into it real, real quick. You're in Miami, um, you know, making moves. Uh, what's 2020 been like during this day? Because, you know, COVID happened, everything shut down, and everybody was like, yo, how are we going to make moves? You know, 2020 has been a great year for you. So what's the day today looking like for you right now? It's honestly crazy. It's like we've been like all over the place. Um, as far as you know, my artistry, and you know, I got my artist links. I got my artist Rosandra. I got the label. So one minute I'm doing my own thing for myself, and the next minute I'm traveling for him, and the next minute I'm traveling to LA for Rosandra. You know, a lot's going on right now behind the scenes that I can't even speak of, just because the place is getting put together still. But a lot is going on right now. And it's just a blessing to be a part of something so bigger than myself. Um, but um, as far as me, we, we just stay in the studio every day. Every, my everyday schedule is like I wake up, I go to the studio, I write music. Word. Every Word. single day. Every, every day. Every single day. Six, six to 12 hours in the studio every day. Wow. Wow. I mean, you've had a lot of releases this year. Love, Pain, Moonwalking, Falling for You. Before we get into your artists, uh, what are these singles leading up to? Are you working towards a, a, your third project or are these just like releases to keep the buzz and promotion going? Yeah, so I was kind of keeping on the hush, but I, um, I'm actually going to get back into the tradition and drop a project on my birthday, December 9th. Okay. Um, so I, I'm thinking about dropping another project on my birthday this year. I took off last year. I didn't drop a project, but this year I feel like everyone's been asking for it and I got a lot of crazy unreleased records that I'm ready to put together on a project. Uh, actually, my... Uh, one of my close, one of my best friends, uh, David Duke, uh, one of the best uh, college basketball players in the country. He's gonna be executive producing the album. Dope, dope. So yeah. uh, December 9th, that makes you a Sagittarius? Yes, sir, Sag. Okay, okay. this swaggy, a little swaggy. Okay, so you got the, yeah. uh, you know, we have 1209, the birth, true colors, the introduction. What would this third project be? What is it going to represent? It's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna represent like who I am as a person, so. Basically, the theme will be athlete turned artist. So it's going to really kind of explain my story, who I am, what I've been through, what I've been through, and why I am where I, why I am, where I am now. Because a lot of people don't, like, didn't see it come in this place. Like, I was supposed to be in college playing basketball, right. being a professional wrestling player. So, again, I had Division One like, interest and offers. I went to Division One Juco in Chicago. You know, I, you know, it just... It's crazy how life brought me here. I never thought I'd be a, I never thought I'd be a musician. Now you're ma and not only a musician, you're managing managing artists, making those connections. Um, right now, you know, before we get into Jay Lynx, because I really want to talk about I talk about him, because you know I'm in Seattle right now. You know that's my stomping ground, but I'm from PVD, so I got super excited when I heard about the success there. But real quick, right now the single with Hennessy is out. Double back, the video's dope. You know I know Hennessy personally; she's a really, really dope creative. Right now, PVD has everything it needs. It has the artists, the big names. It has the fan bases. It has uh, platforms with people and creatives. Uh, to execute their vision. You know what I'm saying? How does it feel to be the face of that movement? And if I had to ask you, why hasn't PVD blown up? You know, we've always had all of these parts, but why haven't we blown up in the mainstream hip hop scene? Because we, we, we just, we just hit in the surface. I feel like everyone before us, like kind of like set the tone. You got like a lot of, a lot of music influence 
people in Rhode Island now, you know, I, I, I learned a lot, for example, I, I, you know, Mike Slick, Mike Slick, someone who I learned a lot from, mm -hmm. um, just being in the studio. As far as music, like, you know, he just kept me in the studio. Um, Cam Bells, Cam Bells is like a big bro to me. Cam Bells taught me a lot, right. you know, he kind of got me into like the live band stuff, just soaking in knowledge from him. Um, who else can I think of, you know, that was doing it before me? Key. Key is a close friend from my neighborhood that was making music when I was playing basketball. I used to just watch him with the music and I was in, I was just like, wow, someone from my neighborhood's really doing this music stuff and really can blow up. That was the first person I seen from Rhode Island. I was like, wow, this kid can really blow up. That was before I was even thinking about being a musician. Um, it's just so many like elements to the story that people don't see. Like you don't see it now, but it's it plays a pivotal role in the success. You know what I mean? Like Absolutely. a lot of people like that. It's crazy because you know that's why I feel like being self-made is saying you're self-made is overrated. You know what I mean? Because if we're being honest, like it's like everyone, even people you don't think played a role, played a role, played a role. You feel me? So Absolutely. I like to just I like to just give people their flowers while they're here and just appreciate everyone's position they played in my life because I know I'm a star. Like, I, I doesn't take away anything from me giving other people credit. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, anything, I right now, it's so every I'm, piece I'm, of energy. Every piece of energy that everybody's given to you and to, put towards that. It's everyone. It's like, not even just the people you work with directly. It's like the supporters, that one person that had yeah. that conversation with you. It's everybody. A hundred percent. And that's why I feel like even someone like a Henny, like, Henny's so dope because, you know, Henny's just, He's so positive and she just gives off like good energy to the point where it's like it's hard to be negative when you're around her and right. that's why even creating the uh, double back song where it was so fun for me because it was like it was all about the music and it was all about just enjoying it enjoying the moment we enjoyed shooting the video we enjoyed the release we enjoyed how people soaked it in you know and now that, that was dope like that was that was dope for me you know what i mean Definitely, definitely. Let's talk about Jay Lynx. You know, you got applying pressure forever, and this is like part of it, you know, not only, you know, making moves for yourself, but also being able to pass that down and help other artists. And, you know, everybody moves with this vision. Now, when I heard about Jay Lynx, uh, Seattle is going crazy. You know, Lil Mosey is straight out of Seattle. Um, you see what I'm wearing? You, you, you see my shirt, man? Yeah, I see the shirt. We, we know what's good. We see, we see it. Man. We all, what's good? We see the chain. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Appreciate you, man. Thank of you. Of course, of course. Did L Lil Mosey reach out to you guys? Like, yo, what's good? Like, I seen, I seen the product. Like, I want to sign the artist. Or how did that happen? Because you know, like, man, you know how it is in Rhode Island. Like, you already know what the grind is. You know, stuff like this doesn't happen. So for it to happen so genuinely and so quickly, during 2020 you feel me how like literally how did that happen so we was in la way over here too we was in la with my other artist and we was focusing on her a lot because she had a lot going on and um we kind of just thought all right who would who, we, we made a record called soul slide and this record's fired like i can't wait for the world to hear it but um he was like yo little mostly with some fire on this and we had a rental plug. We had a, uh, oh man, what's his name? The one who gave us the Batwing and stuff? Yeah. I don't remember. Oh Omar, man. Omar. No, that's not his name. Mm, Shout out to him. No, we had a rental plug. And uh, he, he, he used to sell like rent, like rent cars to all like, the famous rappers. You know what I mean? Right. So we're like, yo, we need to get in touch with this dude. He's like, yo, I know his people. It's like, I can hit him up for a feature for you guys. Mind you. Well, we're, we're like business oriented people, like we had no problem paying. Like, yo, yeah, get them. Definitely. We'll pay for the future. Like, no, no pressure. You feel me? So, right. from there, he ended up showing uh, one of Moji's A and R's and one of Moji's like people that work on the Moji's label. Stella, shout out to Stella for making this happen. Showed her links, and Stella showed uh, Moji links. Like, yo, this kid wants to feature. And Moji was like, feature? Screw a feature! Like, I want to sign this kid. Sign him. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, that's organic it. like that, man. Organic like that, and that's why I appreciate Moses so much because he could have literally just been like, "All right, let's take his money, do the song, and then keep it moving." Like he right. really believed in this kid, and right. he's like, "Yo," he was like, "Yo, let's 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 put him on, let's let's get him right." Yeah. And ever since then, we've been rocking. Ever since the rest then, is Moses history. Been... The rest is history, yeah. all the way to the video shoot right now. What's up? Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. I, it's ironic that where where in Miami. The, the day we scheduled our, 
uh, interview. Where in Miami with Mosey right now, about to get on a yacht and shoot a video for him, man. Crazy, crazy. You know, everything that happens, it lines up exactly how it's supposed to. You feel me? Um, right. Jay Links, we're looking forward to music from from you. You know, we'll we'll get to know you when you guys are when you guys are in Seattle. Make sure you guys stop by the studio and say for what's sure. up. You feel me? Because Seattle wants to know who Jay Links is for sure. Definitely, definitely. I got you. Um, applying pressure forever. That's the name of the label. Or uh, it's a management company, independent, full service management. Um, what's the importance of this brand? And tell me a little bit about what's coming out of this uh, this group in 2020 and then i have a couple more questions before this shoot so basically uh, the whole the whole um idea with applying pressure forever was it was to bring a collective of people to get together and just feed off each other's energy so if you can if, if i can feed off of you you can feed off of me we just will make each other better so the the group is based off all my best friends so mm -hmm. my cousins my best friends we're all athletes so he's like yo how can we take an athlete's standpoint on life and put it in the music. And it's like pressure, like, yo, like when you're playing sports, it's like, yo, you might be up 30 and it's like, yo, you don't, your coach gonna tell you, don't take your foot off their necks. Like, right. let's, let's go up 60, let's go up 100. So the idea was, yo, no matter how good we're doing, no, no matter how much buzz we get, no, no matter how much highlight moments we have, we want to keep working at the bottom of the back. People was asking why I signed. Yeah, you know? people was asking me, like, why you signed that little kid? Like, what are you seeing in him? <laughs> Even with my female artist, Rosandra, they was like, yo, she sings too nasally. I don't really hear what you hear. To be honest, it's like, a lot of people didn't believe, I'll be honest. And we got her in this situation, too. Yeah, like, a lot, I'll be <laughs> honest, like, a lot of people didn't believe. Like, so. Hey, well, all it takes is one person to believe, you know, and then that one person that believes turns everybody else into believers. Um, one thing you always talk about is your connection with your fans and having a purpose. Um, tell me what you've learned uh, through the highs and lows of your journey thus far and something you want to pass down to your fans in this moment. What I would want to pass down to my fans is set goals, like sit in your room and set goals. Like, okay, this is what I want to achieve this month. This is what I want to achieve this week. And never stop doing that. And start, it, it can start little. It doesn't have to be big, big goals. It could be something so little like, okay, this week I'm going to get to the studio th three times a week. Next month it might be, okay, I'm going to drop a song this, this, uh, this month. Next goal might be, okay, I'm going to raise $200 to put behind promotion for this song. And when you can set goals like that right. over and over again, it gets so much easier because you're just like, all right, bet. I did this, now I can do that. And it, it just keeps building. Like, one thing with me is I always set, high goals for myself and it started from a very small goal like the goal from the jump was just to make a song right and now it's like okay i want to be jay i want to be like jay-z i want to be like drake i want to be that was never the goal at first you know what i mean right it was it, it evolves grew and i feel like with rhode it's island i feel like with rhode island it's like people get so caught up in the okay i'm going to base my success off of being better than the next person right. it's right. not i feel like that's been the problem with rhode island where it's not I want to be the biggest artist in the world. I want to impact the world. It's like, I want more likes than the next person rapping. I want more shares than the next person rapping. I want more views. If I can do that, I'm a, I'm a success story. And that's not the case. Like with me, that never was the case. I never compared my success to the next person in Rhode Island. Cause right. I want everyone to win genuinely. And, um, you know, I just, I, I really, I really just want to see everyone win. So I always base my success off the people I was inspired by. So if that's Drake or if that's that person, I'll study them. I'll study them and I'll, I, I appreci I'd appreciate their work, you know what I mean? And, and try to learn from it and, and grow from it. So I feel like right now, that's where we're at right now. And I feel like next by next year, Rhode Island will be on the, like, I know, like, I know no. I'm going to play a pivotal role in that and put Rhode Island in the map. Absolutely. You guys and are I'm going to change, it, I'm gonna change the culture. I'm going to change the culture back home forever. For sure. Good shit. That's what we like to hear. Real quick, before the ball drops. This year, you got a lot going on. You know, you're tying some ends, working on some projects. What's one personal and professional goal that you want to achieve? And you'd like, um, you know, when it comes to your fans to really, really support you in making that happen? Good question. Um, man, the only goal, the only goal I have for myself is honestly just make, make sure the, the the body of art like is perfected like if i can perfect my craft and make sure the music's good i really don't 
crave like being the biggest like I want yeah, I just want to I want to be impactful. Like I want to impact people. I don't really mm-hmm. think too much about oh, having the number one record in the world or right. stuff like that. Like the that's, my music that's temporary. Yeah, my music's going to speak for itself. So my goal would just be for my artists to stay in like just honestly stay on me like and stay in like one thing about my core fan base is like they're very interactive with me. Like I I speak to them on a, a lot. Like I go live with them. I speak to them in the DMs. And a goal for me is just to stay close to my fans. I really don't have a goal as to like a numbers game or right. uh, things like that. In that sense, I just want to drop music and I want my fans to love my music. And um, you know, and I I definitely want to touch new audience, like touch new audiences like, like across the world and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But as far as Yes, yeah, so I would say my goal probably is just building my audience up a little more. Like, Okay. All right. Like, you know what they say, success? Yeah. Like, everyone, right now, everyone's, you know, they define their success by what they see on social media. People are talking about Birkins and all this crazy stuff. But really what you're saying is so, success starts from within. You know, it starts from within your personal goals, what you want to do. And all that fame, the numbers, the records, that stuff follows. Success uh, is yeah, yeah, that's great. of hard work. Yes, that's, don't get me wrong. I, I I want all the money in the world. I want, I want, I'm not saying I don't want number one records and all that. I do, but that's not my main goal. Like, my main goal is to impact and inspire people. Like, I, I feel like that's my purpose here, like, to inspire people. And that's why I started my own label. Like, if it was all about myself, I, w- I would have just kept pushing myself. Like, I had, uh, lab- I had label deals on the table before, right. 2017, 2018. If it was all about myself, I would have just focused on myself. But my main thing was, yo, I know it's I know it's bigger than I know it's bigger than me. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to impact and inspire other people, really, man. And before you guys get out of here, tell us about the video you're about to shoot. UJ Links, Lil Mosey, what's going on? Look at Mosey right here. This is Mosey right here. <laughs> what what's what, what, what Lil Mosey pulling up in? In that drop top roll. Drop top roll. Drop top roll. Please. Yeah, oh. man. Well, let me see if I can turn this. I can't turn the screen for you. Could I? Yes, I could. You did. You did. You showed up. You showed up. Um, uh, oh, you, you, tell Lil Mosey Cube 93.3 so what's good. He'll be like, what? <laughs> what? Uh, are you know who that is? He'll know Cube 100%. 100%. Yeah, they're lit. They're, they're lit. Uh, wow. As far as you were saying, um, we're shooting uh, Bad Girl Vibes produced by Internet Money. Okay. With internet money? It's, re- it's produced by internet money, yep. Okay. Word. And this is your track or vice versa? It's mine. Oh, okay. Good good shit. All right. All right. Well, we're looking yeah. forward to that. That last video looked like you had a lot of fun. Sorry, you know what? A lot of controversy sure. in that video too. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like you had a lot of fun. Well, you guys be safe. You know what I'm saying? Keep on working hard. Keep on applying that pressure. You feel me? You, you already know. It's nice to meet you in um, Gomes. Yo, so nice to chop it up when you drop this uh, this tape on um, the ninth. Let's really dive into it because I have a lot of questions that I wanted to, you know, I want to learn more about you. But, you know, you got some moves to make. You got to shoot this video. So we'll catch up another Yo, time. Yo, man, no, I, I, I really enjoy, enjoy chopping it up with you, man. I would love to uh, hop, hop on here again when I, like, you know, maybe when I when I got some more free time and stuff like that. But I definitely, definitely. want to change them exchange contacts with you so we can uh chop it up